today we are going to discuss one of the important topic from community health nursing that is occupational health. What is occupational health? We are going to discuss now. See students before going to discuss about occupational health I want to tell you one thing. See occupation is nothing but a job. See that is different way. So white collar job, blue collar job. White collar job may have some less risk factors but psychological problems will be there more for white collar job and blue collar job there will be physical health problems. So every job is having their own risks and own health effects but without doing job we cannot earn and we cannot feed our family. So what I am going to say here is for every job there is risk. So by following some guidelines and instructions which are prescribed by the occupational health measures which is given by World Health Organization Occupational Health Department and International Labor Organization. So by they have given some guidelines and instructions to be followed. So if you follow that we can escape or we cannot we can escape easily from those risk factors. And now we are going to see the definition of occupational health. Occupational health should be aimed in promotion and maintenance of physical, men, mental and social well-being of all employees in all occupational setting. So this is the definition which was given by WHO and International Labor Organization. So this is the definition of, so what they are saying is the meaning of occupational health definition. So the occupational health is nothing but we are aimed to maintenance of highest degree in promotion of physical, mental and social health of the employees in all the industries. This was given by Indian International Labor Organization and Occupational Health WHO Division. And next we are going to see one of the important definition ergonomics. So what is ergonomics? The word ergonomics is derived from the Greek word ergo means work and norms means law nothing but law at the workplace. The best meaning of ergonomics is designing the job for employee. That means here it is a different type of engineering measure which is used to design the job for an employee. That means according to his height, according to his weight, uh, fitting the job. For example, if you take a computer operator, uh, a computer operator is always working with the computer. So according to his height, weight, we have to adjust the desktop. Why? Because if you not adjust the desktop properly, his neck, so it leads to spondylitis. And in the same way, every time he is typing with the keyboard, so he may develop some carpal tunnel syndrome. So there are some effects. Best example, I took computer operator. There are some effects for this computer job. So to eradicate, to control those health problems, these are the ergonomic measures. It is a special branch of ergonomic engineering is there for setting good environment for workers that is called ergonomics and after discussing about ergonomics we are going to discuss about occupational hazards. So why I am going to discuss about occupational health hazards is mainly there are five types of occupational health hazards. Those are physical hazards, chemical hazards, mechanical hazards, biological hazards and psychosocial hazards. In physical hazards again it is further classified into heat, cold, vibration and all those things. So in a heat, what is the effect of heat among the workers? Heat, overheat leads to heat syncope, heat stroke and heat hyperpyraxia. So because of it, all these effects, what happens? The employee develops inefficiency to work and one factor. And next cold, over cold is also one of the important cause. Why? Because over cold may leads to some of the respiratory illness and coming to vibration, over vibration leads to over shake of the body and it leads to neurological problems. And next chemical, inhalation, ingestion and local action. Inhalation, ingestion of some chemical substance into in our body through respiratory tract leads to poison effects in our body. And next we are discussing about biological, biological agents like, see fishermen are there. Fishermen are daily going to the rivers for catching the fish. For those they will be having some biological problems like uh, which are caused by bacteria, virus, fungus. So it leads to some of the food, uh, food infections to them and they will ingest, they will, they, will, they will take that water and they will have some health problems. And after that 
psychosocial problems what is psychosocial problems psychosocial problems is over frustration if the work is more for an employee so there will be over frustration and he is unable to concentrate on the work and it leads to some other health problems and in mechanical problems mechanical problems is vibration and vibration leads to i told you already some of the neurological health problems and in the same way uh, due to chemical substance also inhalation it leads to some of the cancers malformations genetical problems and all these things sometimes it if it is increased it may leads to sterility and infertility in the men and women so these are some of the occupational hazards and next we are going to discuss about role of occupational health nurse what is the role of occupational health nurse in controlling all these above hazards what i have mentioned so what is that is the first one is periodical examination the first role of a nurse is periodical examination of occupational health occupational workers why periodical examination is very very important because see after entry of disease causing organisms into our body that is agent it takes some time to express the signs and symptoms that is called incubation period so if you conduct periodical examination in the workers we can identify the agent which is present in the body of health uh, worker then what we can do based on that uh, identification we can prescribe some treatment so that is what periodical examination for 6 months to 6 months if you conduct periodical health assessment you can easily identify with wa what problems the uh, occupational workers are suffering with and next one is medical and health services so in every occupation there should be in any, every organization there should be proper medical and health services so if you want to know about more about uh, medical and health services you know about esi act which was passed by government of india employment state insurance act some organizations are providing benefits in the esi form like medical benefits sickness benefits and uh, maternity benefits for women so these are the medical and uh, some surgical benefits to the employees and next one notification why notification is very important because see in a occupation in a industry man is not working only alone he is working with the another person so another person may have some disease it may leads to transmission that means person to person contact what happens then so there may develop a a communicable a communicable disease in the industry so example salmonella typhi salmonella typhi inhalation means what happens it leads to typhoid so it's is it's from water so if once in one employee if you identify salmonella typhi there is a risk for transmission to all the employees so what we have to do we have to notify that particular person is suffering with typhoid so all the employees please boil your water in the houses and bring the water why because to control the disease in the workers this is notification and next one is uh, supervision of the workplace what are the engineering measures they are following and what equipments they are using see man in industry is working with some machinery that machinery is good and if the machinery is good only the employee can fulfill his roles and responsibilities if you expect good work from the employee you have to provide good equipment to the employee unless you cannot expect the good result from the employee and last one is maintenance of records and analysis of records you have to maintain each and every employee's health form why because it will helps us to know the health conditions of the employees based on that we can plan the health interventions to that particular employees and last one is research research is one of the important aspect in the occupational health why because conducting repeatedly research studies we can identify with what health problems the workers are suffering with and we will come to know and what health measures to be planned in the hospital for that particular industry there will be a separate hospital for example if you take hcl in hcl there is a hospital for those employees so if you conduct research studies among the employees you will come to know with what health problems they are suffering with and you can plan those interventions in that hospital so this is one of the important role of a nurse so this is about occupational health and now i want to discuss one of the important topic which is very very important for nurses that is what are all the see nursing is also one job it is a occupation so everyone will talk about this occupational health occupational hazards and role of occupational health nurse as a nurse i want to concentrate i want to stress on what hazards and what health problems 
and what emotional problems and what psychosocial problems and what psychological problems the nurses are suffering with. So the first one is workplace violence. So you know nurses are working with many healthcare personnel. There will be having much, much stress. So one is the workplace violence. And next one is shortage of staff. You know actually INC prescribed a staffing pattern in a hospital. 150 bedded hospital, how many nursing superintendents should be there, how many deputy nursing superintendents should be there, how many assistant nursing superintendents should be there and in ICUs for each bed, one is to one patient ratio, they have to maintain the staff nurse. But nowadays it is going, not going in the, in this system is not applicable in the hospital. So what happens, on a nurse, on a, on a single nurse, the entire work is dependent. So, he, she cannot work like that effectively. So, here the patient is getting lost and the health of a staff nurse is also getting lost. And the third one is workplace synchronicity. There is no synchronicity, in synchronicity in the workplace. That means there is no proper harmonious relationship between the health team members. So, this is one of the health problem, uh, important problem of the staff nurse. And next one is no proper recognition. Everything whatever happens. If good happens, it is on doctor. If bad happens, it is on nurse. So there is no proper recognition for the nurses in the hospital. And next one is, the important thing is non-nursing role. The best thing is non-nursing role. What is the non-nursing role? See, nurse will perform patient care and pharmaceutical, pharma person's roles and laboratory person's roles and all these roles are performed by the nurses. So this is not a good thing, why because nurses having our own roles and responsibilities in providing patient care, if you, if we do all these things, this is one of the problems which are faced by the nurses in the hospital setting and what we have to do to overcome this problem. So positive work environment we have to develop and recruitment should be done according to the requirement of the staff and formulation of the gap between education and service, what is the important thing? this gap should be filled because, see in textbooks we read something and if you go into the hospital setting, it will be something. So as we have to fill the gap, what is there in the service setting, we have to prescribe the same thing in the textbooks also, that textbooks has to be given to the children, the staff nurses, they will read and evidence based practice. So evidence based practice is very, very important uh, in promotion of uh, and in controlling the problems faced by the nurses. Students, Today we have discussed about important topic that is occupational health definition and ergonomics definition and uh, occupational health hazards and uh, what are the role of nurse in occupational health hazards and the important topic as I am nurse, so I have covered what are the problems faced by the nurses and uh, how to overcome those problems in the hospital setting by the staff nurses. I hope you all uh, understand this topic and we will meet with new topic in the next class. Thank you, take care, bye.